welcome you to Global Corporation House for this evening's program, the Janmashtami. Um, the topic is living a golden aged life. May I ask who is here for the first time? So a special welcome to you. And I'm sure you know we are a university that teaches varieties of lectures, courses, and we have lots of fun element, creative elements. And this house was built uh, 26 years ago, and I saw this house being built. I think it was before you were born? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> or after you were born. Are you showing your age or are you showing my age? <laughs> well, I never look my age. <laughs> So this house has actually served the young, the old, all generation of all background and it's brought a lot of happiness, I have to say. Would you agree for those of you who have been here more than once? Great. <laughs> so today's um, program is one of our many, is to add on to the list of programs we've done in this house and I know that you will really, really enjoy it. There is one that is happiness and the other, that is true happiness. When we are happy, we sing, we laugh, we dance, but true happiness makes us peaceful. The mind, the eyes become peaceful, the ears, the mouth, the nose becomes peaceful, but overall, the soul is peaceful. At the time of happiness, that smile is from within. It's a smile of humility. That smile is of great sweetness and of contentment. The one who has true happiness will be very simple, very incognito, beautiful, mature and enthusiastic. So if you want to be happy, then let there be this kind of happiness. The unlimited happiness, the true happiness, the simple happiness. So now we're going to leave you with a glimpse of a potential future world. Hold on to your seats.
What are you doing? said Krishna. Are you ready to go? Where? replied the dreamer, looking bemused and taken by surprise. Where are we going? To a place where you can be your true, amazing, powerful self and experience all your virtue. Suddenly, a beautiful scene was revealed to the dreamer of a world in complete harmony and those within it in total synchronicity. There was elegance. All interactions were natural and unconditional. Every person was overflowing with virtue, powers, and with peace of mind. As much as the dreamer was transfixed with this world, he felt that he is not yet worthy of staying here. Turning to Krishna, he asked, How can I be part of this world? I want to experience this when I return to reality. How can I be part of this world? I want to experience this when I return to reality. So we'd like to welcome Sudesh Didi to the future. <laughs> Minul, I was wondering, how many years have you known Sudesh been? Well, um, I think I've known her all my life, actually, <laughs> pretty much wow. since I was five. Uh, how about you? Oh, I don't think you've got enough fingers on your hands to count how many years you've known her, do you? Many, many years, <laughs> and many, many years of sustenance, love, and blessings. Yeah. One of the most beautiful things I find about Sudesh Didi is that 
Uh, she's a fantastic storyteller. For those of you who have seen her before in action, she can go on for hours telling stories and you just want to listen. Uh, and she's just amazing at picking out the, the wisdom right deep down into those stories. Um, uh, and what I find really personally amazing about her is her ability just to be in the moment. <laughs> and the things that come out of her are just like, they hit you and they leave you. They leave, you know, you leave with them for a while. Uh, and they leave you thinking uh, in a really beautiful way about your life and about things that are happening in the world. So uh, I really wish you all another maybe 45 minutes of <laughs> comp in company of <laughs> Sudesh Didi. Yeah. For me, she's like a battery, Duracell. She's on the go 24-7. She can just go on and on and on because she's ever giving, ever sharing, ever loving, ever tireless. She's ever green. <laughs> she's never aged since I've known her. So that's a beauty. She shares real inner personal qualities, which is actually practical for our day to day life. And really, I have to say, She's a real mother, a real friend, and a real teacher. For those of you who know her, I'm sure you will agree. So I know the next 45 minutes are going to be very fruitful, very powerful, and very sustaining to each of us. So we'll leave you in company of her, and see you shortly. Happy evening. Yes, you, understood, you have heard the meaning of happiness. It whether it applies to you or not. But you are happy, yeah? Really? Constant happy? Constantly happy? Happiness is actually the nourishment. Seeing all these things here, so generally when we greet each other, you will, those who are coming here quite often, what it is that we greet with? Which greetings? Om Shanti. Yes? Om Shanti. But what is the beginning of Om Shanti we heard? Om Bliss, Om Anand. There's no end of happiness, inner happiness, constant happiness, unlimited happiness undisturbed happiness. We are celebrating Krishna Janamashtami. And in the gathering, one of you, perhaps many of you, are dreaming like the dreamer, one of the, from the gathering came on the stage and was wondering how to become, how it's okay about future, but we want to experience happiness now. Future is created now, yet yeah, in the present. And in order to have this joy of being happy. Experiencing it means happiness. Do we need to bring all these ornaments that are here? All these beautiful music, instruments, golden decorated urn of treasures. 
beautiful elephants or other all this what was around thank you the happiness is is not that something you can get from external things we all of us all of us know this some might think oh i have plenty of wealth i would be happy i have a nice beautiful car expensive car i would be happy or i would have nice comfortable place and can go on holiday it's whenever i want i'm happy but this happiness we know comes and goes but the happiness that is remembered that krishna experienced or expressed or inspired was something very special there must be some speciality a secret that who our even can man remembers the pictures no it begins to feel that that is infectious this character is so that you begin to perhaps not feel but you desire that would it be so good dreaming again if i could be at that time when krishna was there but that is past but how to make this past present and present future and past future again i'm not speaking about a philosophy but i'm speaking about reality the past which the glory we had of this wonderful character charming beautiful pure entertaining and yet beyond not the any kind of bondage and so happiness is freedom what is happiness when there's freedom heart is free mind is free intellect is free to get whatever i want any type of bondage pulls us back or keeps us in limitation the sign of krishna or oh, it's a human being actually was a human being like us the same structure of the body two hands two feet facial uh, organs are the same must be heart also the same but in order to differentiate between other human beings or other divine beings or other uh, that is what we call them is there is a flute in the hand it's a krishna so shall all of us learn to play flute so then we become happy and then we make others also happy of course the flute music is something 
very important and we can see everybody enjoys any kind of concert where there is music is there. But flute <laughs> symbolizes purity of the heart. Heart, my heart is happy, my heart is hurt, I am sad. We immediately connect with the heart. Hurting heart or happy heart? Hatred in the heart or kindness in the heart? Yes? Do you agree with this? Yes or no? So it's connected with the heart. And in this flute, what makes the flute flute? It's just a simple piece of wood, or for more fancy it's, it's silver, or maybe another material can be. But what it is in it that makes it flute? The flow, the energy, there's no stuff stuffed in it. And so we want to be happy all the time. <laughs> and so the heart of all of us, when it is on one side is empty, but other side is full. Flow, you play the flute, then air is passing through it. Some tune of the mind is passing through it. So what it is filled with? It's empty from all the things which has made us sad. When we begin to feel hopeless, when we begin to doubt ourselves, we begin to doubt others, we have expectations and they are not fulfilled. And so dissatisfaction within myself cannot create joy and satisfaction in others. Happiness is contagious. When I am happy, automatically others become happy. But it's, it has to be real happiness of a good joke, but good reality, drinking different types of tea every time. Purity, spirituality, royalty, divinity, <laughs> dignity. It's not a cup of, there's other not, but to make this, all these qualities, my cup of tea, I enjoy it, I like it. So then when this is filled, it, I, I begin to taste it. Where should I buy it? Is there any factory where all this kind of tea is manufactured or created, or any kind of garden? Is there anything in London somewhere or in UK? Any? Do you know any town, any shop, any place, any factory? But I know it's here in each of us. But we have closed this shop for a long time. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> but we have it's closed up inside. And then there's a desire to experience that open my heart and let it be filled with these qualities. And very first quality is purity. Purity begins with positivity. Positive 
energy attracts positivity. It, it, it is just like one float energy, like the, the wave of the happiness, like the ocean, one wave is pushing the other wave, the other wave is pushing the other, and it is one after another wave, creating music as well, joy inside. When positivity is there, appreciation is there. Appreciation also opens your heart. When appreciation is there, automatically communication is there. Other instruments begin to create beautiful music in us because we respect each other, accept each other. And this music, when was played is as the memorial in this, with a pure heart, with pure feeling. They speak about Krishna played the flute, and even the animals, cows running, and they are running and hearing, and the gops and gopis are running. So is it only the external, what the animal were influenced, or people? But in fact, that also symbolizes that it is the gupt incognito gop and gopis. Means incognito energy opens up. Inside this physical body is the living energy, invisible soul, but the energy that experiences itself expresses itself. So, and makes effort not with any kind of tension, not with any kind of fear. A natural feeling of the truth within myself. Where there's truth, there's no fear. Where there's truth, there is joy. Where there's truth, there is power. And that it is what attracts. And Sri Krishna was called attractive, akarshan, Krishan, akarshan. It's what attracts us. It's, it's simplicity, beauty, purity, cleanliness, honesty. And this is why it is TT, afterward is TY, but it is truth, yes, in life. And so we should have it here, so then it becomes our natural sanskaras. Sanskaras means it becomes my personality. And this is what it's when there is this music playing inside, the atmosphere is changing. Heaviness is gone, and so everybody is dancing in happiness. Creating this image, picture, begin to paint what is inside, what is, is there, it is feeling just its harmony. What is natural outside, that is natural inside. Inside, out, outside is same, because there is transparency with the purity. And so this is with, we don't need to hide anything, doesn't matter if sometimes some situations are there, but then it is also the power, wisdom, to see that feel we are very swinging the challenge, but in fact it is making you courageous to see, to face that, and overcome with joy, and encouraging others. And this is why the wisdom 
which is used is known was was revealed in the gita is called the elevated directions elevated opinion so our thoughts our communication our relationship with each other it's very benevolent encouraging each other there is not any competition there is not comparison it's uniqueness and when there is uniqueness is there it's automatically attracts attention is gone there's lightness and light the pure light of the the light of knowledge the light of love the light of peace it draws attention and this we can create inside because the power is there in each one of us now the because we are not believing ourselves that this is within us we begin to feel a little bit hopeless or depressed and what is so impossible that i can have that kind of experience but if we are looking for that we we, we why we lose the hope because we wanted and we did not get we made effort and then we didn't become successful harmony in relationship respect for each other so divine qualities originally that are these are sitting in us actually are there but i am not using them and so the quality the praise of shri krishna is all virtuous all virtuous means do i have shall i need make a list of all the virtues values no means from every one from in every situation in every challenge i pick up something which makes me valuable virtuous all virtuous so what will happen then i begin begin to see and appreciate and take that virtues not with a competition with appreciation not with a comparison because when you start comparing competition will come then 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 it is then it's a different thing but it's this appreciation is automatically you don't challenge thing but you appreciate and it be, it belongs to you it begins to belong to you and these are incognito efforts but i won't call it effort it is very pure intention attitude and because in order and when it, i'm picking up positivity from everyone i am appreciating everyone's speciality what will happen this quality automatically connects with me or i connect with that qualities and this quality begin to connect with each other it becomes a circle of gopis and gopis incognito powers and begin to dance and there's happiness it's harmony and in fact this is what is need at the moment present time so i i might be still seeing knowing that this weakness is there but neither that weakness is ever belonging to this person belonging to that person it came it became because of some situation it was not there that's why it is called weakness defect it was perfect became defected it was pure it being influenced polluted it became impure so you go into the truth of each one's being and also see your own truth being and that's why 
it is the when krishna ruled on this planet in the reality it was the age of truth the age which is was golden age everything pure nature perfect human beings perfect relationship perfect in a harmony that is what we remember but there are certain stories that we hear in the in the scriptures which are also actually picture of our personalities it is the language of the artist this stealing butter now can the person who is so beautiful loved by all respected even 5000 years later pictures are worshiped could be a thief doesn't look like royalty of stealing anything whether is a butter or something else but it is a meaning is is when you do something incognito not of a show not because of show and in honest you want to achieve something you say oh, you have done it secretly without telling anyone in hindi they say you have done it chori chori miss <laughs> it was just like internal attention intention to bring these qualities from everyone in the picture of others into my picture but in my practical experience so eating butter this krishna baby krishna is shown with eating butter so much but they don't show him any kind of uh, sickness or diabetes or anything <laughs> eating all the time butter <laughs> but butter as means the, the essence you have so much of milk few liter of milk many liters of milk from milk yogurt from yogurt you churn and it's butter so as it is external system essence is then butter fresh cream so and there is a lot of expansion outside but then this expansion has to be brought what it is should set in me yogurt is setting of some think and act connected with it is putting the culture in so if this expansion is also our our culture but it's the expansion is the essence and the beauty art to bring expansion into essence into value detail into natural and yogurt for internal this milk beauty purity is i have to let it set in my heart in my behavior in my character in my attitude in my society i need the art and that is art of having yoga yogurt I need to connect that quality with that with others with you my quality your quality is also my quality I don't have to compare and compete I have to make it into virtue when quality becomes a divine, virtue it becomes divine so quality if i only keep quality it's competition it's comparison now it has to, when its divinity is there it has no comparison 
no competition. It's inspiration. There's no limitation. It is impartial. It becomes quality. I mean, it means when it is there, then it is good quality, better quality, best quality. When you don't go into compet competition and comparison, but you appreciate it, seeing the essence in it, the goodness in it, it's becoming my nature, natural. And when it becomes natural in, nat in my nature, there's no discrimination, no competition. It's a uniqueness and yet beautiful, yet is respectful and yet open for everyone like the fragrance in the flowers. They don't have any discrimination. The garden does not have any discrimination, the garden of the flowers, that I give more fragrance to you and less to others. I give only the fragrance, the people, those who really love and water me, and the others I don't give anything. No, it's equal, young, old, without, any discrimination of caste, color, and age. And that was attracting. This, this, what attracts is this pure feeling of accepting and appreciating and getting the essence of everything. And this is possible for us in now. It's in order to create an inner garden, this beautiful fragrance flower of spirituality, and that's why Sri Krishna, very well, beautiful, prosperous prosperity is shown always with him. Beautiful dress, beautiful ornament, decorated. Was it a fashion that everyone had the same kind of ornaments there? There was ornament spinning the cycle, right? holding a flower, playing the flute, and all other deities also, this is. It is the cycle of self-realization. What is the reality and spirituality in me? And what is not good, I just finish it, it transform it, fin and destroy it. It's not violence. It was with the power of silence, with the realization, what it is I need to bring in myself. So then it is no discrimination that this one does not have or have more and no all of us will have the same thing equality is there variety is there unity is there it's not that and there's it is beyond expectations of respect or effect of disrespect like natural, virtue becomes natural, that it is, is goes beyond. The ocean is unlimited, beautiful waves of coolness, freshness. The sunshine, very beautiful light, and it is too heat, too much hot. The, I draw the curtain. The sun does not get upset. Oh, I give you so much light, and I am giving you such powerful heat and energy, and you are cut. Block, uh, drawing a curtain, putting your shutter down. No, still keep smile, still shining. The clouds are appeared, but the sun still keeps shining. It is beyond respect and disrespect. The flower, I am allergic to it, allergic. I say, please take the flowers away. The flower will, will not feel insulted that, hey, I give so much fragrance. So it becomes a natural quality like in nature without any discrimination, joy. And this is what created this like heaven on earth, happiness on earth. When we speak about paradise, Vaikunt it is called in, in Hindi, in Sanskrit. There's no kuntha, there's not any kind of guilt feeling, bad feeling, rejection. Reactions. It's open heart. And then this becomes power, which empowers others. And it means that these qualities are called all the quality becomes virtue, virtue becomes power, power becomes the inner strength which is actually able to 
face all the challenges and also empower others because it is selfless. It is a spiritual power. And that was attractive. So there is not possessiveness, not attachment to anything, but natural generosity. And that's why he was called Manmohan. He was, he was attracting, charming, everyone was being attracted to him, but he was Mohan. He did not have any attachment. Detached. Detached from everything. Being everything, seeing everything, giving everything, but not possessiveness. Is it possible that we can have this, these things? Yes or not? So when we start making incognito effort and appreciating others, it will multiply automatically. And for that is actually the knowledge is needed. That's why they always connect this joy of thinking. It was Sri Krishna who gave the knowledge to Arjuna because Arjuna had reached a state of the hopelessness, fear, curiosity, not understanding how to handle the society. And that is the time now. This is exactly the same time. There is conflict in the family, where the, the, the community is with this possessiveness of like Karvas, the ones who always wanted to have position, possession, material, authority, but how? With corruption, with deception, with falsehood. And we see this in this society all the time, this happening. This is ruling now. There was also, at the same time, was a lot of energy which is speaking about, they call it Yadavas, who had this energy which is now we can call it the energy of science, atomic energy, missiles, which is speaking that the weapons will go and cut the throat of someone and come back. The sh arrow will be shot and it will hit the target and will come back to you. And these are this energy now of science, as well as Yadav Yadavas, those who have um, some background of the scriptures, so they will understand what I'm speaking about it. It's not, the, but it, it was on one side was the spiritual energy in the self and other side was this material energy. So Yadavas, Korvas, armies were there, but and also a lot of philosophy was there. Many gurus, many people, those with spiritual authority or religious authority were there, and still the society was not full. It was corruption, it was deception. It was all the time, and we are at this moment, at moment of time where this need is again to bring that qualities in us where paradise is created here. We create paradise in ourselves, and that is with wisdom. And so knowledge is given by the incognito power which was learned by Arjuna, Arya, an ordinary person, and all ordinary person, it's symbol, symbolizing only one Arjuna, which one person, when you have a picture, when you have a story, when you hear the, when you go, it's only one hero becomes an example of going through many challenges, learning things, going through difficulties, and it is symbolizing the society. Exactly same, this Arjuna is symbolizing one of us, one of person who is confused, representing the society, how much trouble and problem is in the family, in the world. And then in order to and bring, bring transformation and then create the kingdom, of happiness of golden age, human being becoming 
an ordinary human being becoming a divine human being and that was with the wisdom the truth but this comes it is given to the soul and that's why in the wisdom in the gita focus is on the knowledge and yoga in every chapter it is raja yoga bhakti yoga sanyas yoga vairagya yoga sankhya yoga yoga different types of it's not the physical exercises of course that is it's good for the in order to keep body fit and also to bring that joy and lightness in the self but it is connection yoga means connection once again connecting ourselves and exercising these qualities it is done by the soul and so second chapter which begins of the knowledge uh, in that it reveals who was giving this knowledge that created an ordinary human being to a divine being and nar into narayan and shri krishna is praised as shri krishna govind hare murari he nath narayan he goes through the stages narayan this no weakness remains in the self it becomes the self sovereignty energy the soul becomes self sovereign the soul becomes the one who sustain others and so in order to bring this qual it is transformation purification not only external things but eternal within ourselves and that is incognito effort but joyful efforts and that's why dancing singing playing together encouraging others when we have these qualities in ourselves and connecting ourselves with the supreme if i take that is bit share the wisdom in the gita where it the supreme soul is giving his own introduction that as i am incorporeal the seed of the human world tree the creator of the new world and new consciousness i am beyond but in a knowledge full bliss full love full powerful <clears throat> benevolent being but i don't have my body body less supreme soul i need a body a physical costume through which i can express these qualities but it is not known it is not recognized by ordinary human beings and that's why on one side is praise other side is defamation because recognition is not there qualities are not recognized so it became a gross way of stealing butter or stealing clothes or stealing uh, uh, and uh, creating violence but no it was becoming non violent when we are having all virtues and having power in ourselves what is finished it is finished the kingdom of that greed anger corruption which is known as vices lust anger greed attachment and ego and with that all other jealousy hatred competition comparison also are finished and for that we all of us need to become companions of god god becomes our companion and we become companions of god and it's called pandavas army of course in order to get the sovereignty they had to learn the knowledge and they had to go into an incognito state of mind where it is not any kind of show but it is making sure we become the embodiment of those virtues and this is why shri krishna is praised all virtues completely viceless six celestial degrees complete more than full moon bringing light in the darkness and that light which comes it does not remain in one life krishna is born in the dark night 
on Amavasya's day, but the light, the moon is increasing, increasing. So these qualities are born at the time when it is dark night. And same is celebrated Shiva's birthday, sorry, Shivaratri, in the dark night. The Supreme Soul enables human beings to become all virtuous, completely viceless, 16 celestial degrees complete, double non-violent, benevolent being. And when all of us are with all these characters, what would be world like? Beautiful world of harmony, happiness, truth, generosity. So then health, wealth, happiness, harmony in nature, natural joy, fearlessness, the truth rules. And that then continues till eight generations. So we celebrate Krishna Janam Ashtami, when these qualities of divine virtues, which attracts, which inspires, which creates happiness, it is not temporary, it generation after generation. And for eight generations, with a long life, then comes Ram Naomi, the ninth generations, then becomes Rama's birth, and that is also beautiful. Still, that is called Ram Rajya, where as was the king, so were the queen and subjects, everyone was equal, and we still remember Gandhiji wanted to have Ram Rajya, means a kingdom where is harmony, where is love and respect for each other. And so let us enjoy, create actually, create paradise here, enjoy that quality within ourselves, so dream becomes true, the dream becomes reality. In order to make it a reality, we have to bring those qualities in our personality. This is the secret. There is no other secret. It is a sacred quality. These are the sacred qualities, pure qualities, benevolent qualities, and it comes from the Supreme Being, Supreme Soul, who teaches in incognito way, but become very... Qua the qualities when they are acting, they are expressing, it becomes visible, it becomes then attribute. Qu quality becomes virtue, virtue becomes power, power is benevolent, it becomes attribute. And up to now, this attributes is given to Sri Krishna or to the Supreme Soul, the seed of the human world tree, which is Shiva, Shiva Lingam, Jyotir, light, the Jyotir Lingam. They are not physical form, not man, not woman, but neutral energy of light. It is not male gender or female gender, feminine or masculine. It is energy which is beyond physical body, bodiless being, which is the image of Shiva actually, the seed form. So it means we need to, in order to get this kingdom, we need to know our own inner being, develop this, share with each other, keep the aim and object of perfection. Perfection means free from defects and free from effect of others. Performing actions with these qualities, it means sharing with each other. Anything we do in the society, it is not just for the self, it is for the self and from others, but emerges from the self. And this is how we share with these, these qualities. And that's why knowledge is needed, yoga relationship is needed, and becoming Im embodiment, bringing this, expressing through the body, divine virtues are needed, and we will experience this world in reality. Now, here, and it's possible, try even for a few days. You see it, experiment it. Experiment those qualities. And it begins with thinking. Thinking changing into feelings. Feeling changes, creates a healing. Healings bring joy and happiness. 
and then happiness gets in the atmosphere. Those who just breathe in, they also breathe these qualities and then they express the same qualities, playing the flute together, dancing together, singing together, studying together. So the world remains same, but the everything is transformed. Human will be still human being, but they will be divine beings. Of course, if you want to, they, they will show beautiful dresses, very beautiful ornaments. Means prosperity is there, a divine culture is there. In one thing they show of all the deities, health, wealth, happiness, wisdom, virtues, benevolence, giving, deity, the one who gives devata, not only just only keeping the Self, and that makes them worship worthy deities, not only praise worship, not only remembering them, worthy to be worshipped, that respect for, for each other. Emerge all these qualities now, all these powers, those who are the, the actors, those who are here dancing, singing, playing, you become that. Let my heart display that quality, feel that. I become aware. I become aware that the dream that I have been having of experiencing that pure joy, selfless love, unlimited, going beyond any discrimination. It's me, pure energy. Positive, pure, powerful. I believe this. It's like a seed. It has potential. I'm the living seed. Of Divine, elevated, pure consciousness, a soul. I put this seed in the fertile land of pure, positive environment. I water it the seed of soul consciousness.
with faith in myself. Let it sprout, let it grow. As I see it's growing, I need to take care of it. That weed does not take away its energy. Anything which is unnecessary, waste, I remove that from this area of my forehead. Just thinking, connecting myself, empowering, with a focus, with attention, this pure energy, peaceful being, is loving, giving, sharing. This energy begins to vibrate. The joy, bliss, happiness, of having it as an eternal potential, growing and giving, naturally, without any discrimination. Every thought I create is filled with joy and benevolence. I breathe in that energy, I breathe out that joy. Let my heart dance as these fruits of harmony and happiness are being shared with others. Om. Shanti. Om. Purity. Om Bliss Thank you
I would definitely like to say that we definitely had an experience, a journey into the land of happiness. Would you agree? We had a real flavor, a real taste, and a real experience of our inner values of what the new world, the golden age world, is all about. And apart from just saying thank you, I would say it's deep gratitude of everything we have heard. So really, a big, big, big thank you. And to each one who has given the experience of a golden aged world. Oh, 